So what's up guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to show you 10 awesome hidden features in your Samsung Galaxy A52. All these features are unique and very useful so watch it till the end to make sure that you don't miss any. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see awesome content just like this one. And let's have an aim to reach 200 likes in this video so drop a like and let's get started. Okay, on to the first one, I'm gonna show you how to enable this super cool assistant menu icon on your phone. You can literally control your whole phone just with this small button. So let's go ahead and enable it. First scroll down on your notification panel and head to settings. Then scroll down till you see the option which says accessibility. And then click on interaction and dexterity. Then make sure you turn on the feature which says assistant menu. As soon as you turn it on, you can see a small icon pops up. And that's your assistant menu icon. You can go into the assistant menu option and customize whatever you want. Now let's have a closer look on the assistant menu icon. So when you click on it, there are so many buttons like recent, home and back button. You can also take screenshots and as well as drag this icon wherever you want in the screen. And you can also control the media volume too. There is almost all the basic things you need to control the phone. And there is a second page as well. And here you can open your notification panel and also turn off your screen. So you can try out all the things here. So this is one of the useful feature in your phone. So let's hop on to the next one. So the second one is gonna be flash notification. You can make your torch light flash whenever you get a notification. To activate this, head to settings, scroll down till you find accessibility and then go to advanced settings. Then there will be an option which says flash notification. Click on it and enable camera flash notification. And next time you get a notification, your torch light will be flashing. Okay, on to the third feature. So you're getting a call from someone and your phone is somewhere else and you want to know who is calling you. Check this out. Subscribe. So to enable this read out caller name feature, go to your phone and then go to settings and then click on the option which says answering and ending calls and then make sure you turn on read caller names allowed and then select it and click on always and then next time you get a call you'll know who is calling you so heading on to the fourth one if you want your phone to look like this and want to enable high contrast theme where your icons look cooler and more noticeable just follow the steps precisely and one by one as shown in the video so in your phone, head to settings, scroll down and go to accessibility and then select visibility enhancement and then click on high contrast theme and then there are three options, none or yellow or blue. I'll be choosing blue, click on it and make sure you download it. It's just around 8 MB in size. So once it's done downloading, go ahead and click apply. And voila, you have it. So coming on to the fifth one, ever watching a YouTube video or doing something else and a call all of a sudden comes and interrupts your whole thing, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to make your calls appear like this. So follow my steps and then you'll be done in no time. Go to your phone and then head to settings in that and then click on call displays while using apps. And there are three features so to get that option you have to either select pop up or mini pop up. So I'll be preferring you to select pop up but you can go ahead with what you like. So that's how you get this cool pop up feature. So let's hop on to the next one. Heading on to the sixth one, this is a very crucial and an important feature to turn on. So go to your settings and then scroll down and go to security 
and then go to find my mobile and then make sure you turn on offline finding so even though you lose your phone you can be able to retrieve and get the location so make sure that's turned on and next time you lose your phone you will be able to find it very easily So you wanted to turn off your phone and then you hold the power button and then all of a sudden Bixby shows up. I'm gonna show you two methods how to change Bixby into power menu. So scroll on to notification and click the power icon and then click on side key settings and then under press and hold select the option which says power off menu. And the other way to do this is go to settings and scroll down to advanced features and then select side key. And then you can do the option here as well. So you can either choose Wake Bixby or Power Off Menu here too. And next time, don't need to worry, just go ahead and press and hold your power button, and then there you get the power option to turn off your phone. So let's hop on to the next one. So if you are using DND mode, do not disturb. So there's an important thing where you haven't noted that you have to change in the DND mode settings. So once you are in the do not disturb mode settings, make sure the calls, messages and conversations are set to none and then apps also are set to none. But alarms and sound can be as it is. So next time you turn on DND mode, you won't be getting any notifications or any unwanted messages. So you are free to do your own work. So let's hop on to the next one. So you have bought yourself a new phone so this is a hidden feature in the display settings you have to do so go to your settings and then scroll down to display then select screen mode and then make sure the option is set to vivid in default sometime it will be natural but make sure you set it to vivid so you get more cool contrasty colors and then you can go ahead and tweak some of the settings in this like the white balance which has the RGB option or else the cool and warm option in the main setting so it's all up to your preferred whatever you like so just go ahead and try it out so the final and the tenth hidden feature you can actually change the vibration intensity of your Samsung phone so with the One UI 3 update you can literally do it so for that just go ahead to the notification panel and go to settings and then select sound and vibration and then there will be an option as vibration intensity so just click on it and then there are three levels to play with so if you don't want you can just switch it off fully or if you want a bit you can go to level 1 or level 2 or level 3 I'll be preferring you to set in level 2 or if you don't like just go ahead and turn it off so this is a good feature where you can literally control your vibration and there are some other settings so just go ahead and do some experiments and then you can find out and try out some cool things so this is gonna be the final and the last uh, feature so I hope you all enjoy this video and if you do don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and also do share it to your friends and as always, see you guys in the next one.